My name is Anthony Tone Show Nunez, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my mid-season review of Carnival Row. Let's talk about it. So Carnival Row is an Amazon original. It's a fantasy series on their streaming service. The first season has eight episodes and Amazon has already gone ahead and renewed it for a second season. It stars Orlando Bloom and Carla DeVigny. I'm probably butchering that really bad. Those are the two stars of this show. Right now, this is going to be a review of the first three episodes. Like I said, it's eight episodes in the first season. Let me give you a little bit of background. I'm not really big on fantasy. A lot of people confuse fantasy and science fiction for the same. They're mm. not. They're completely different genres. But I'm going to give this a shot. I saw the trailer on my podcast um, last weekly, and I said to myself, let me, let me check this out and see what it's about. It's on Amazon. I got Amazon. First episode is called Some Dark God Wakes. Now, this episode had a lot of work to do. This is a very huge world that Amazon is displaying in the series. It's a very vast world. It's a mythical world of fantasy. You have fairies who are who are the fae. You have humans. You have minotaurs. You have werewolves. So a lot of fantasy creatures in this world, and it's a vast world at that. So they had a lot of work to do this first episode. So the first episode, I found it a little bit clumsy, but they had so much work to do, so much heavy lifting. One of my, one of my uh, pet peeves is when a movie or a TV show starts off with, with writing. And I'm not talking about Star Wars, right? A long time ago. Like, I'll let that slide, but most low-budget shows who have a lot of world building, they'll usually start off by giving you a little bit of writing on the screen and telling you what happened, you know, centuries ago. And this, this they had to do it here because they, there was so there were so many things that they had to bring into play and so many characters that they had to establish and so many locations. So the first episode did a lot of world building. It's, I would say you have to take your time so if you're going to jump on to jump into the series like i said it's eight episodes so the first episode had a lot of work to do so don't get dismayed by the first episode the second episode it got things got to go in a little bit more you know who the characters were you kind of had a little bit of understanding of who's who in this world and by the time you got to the third episode man that's when the really good stuff happened my favorite episode so far has been the third episode finally after they got all the all the character building and the world building established they actually got to work on the story and, and, and a lot of interesting things happened in the third episode so i'm only three episodes in right now and i just finished watching the third episode and i said to myself i can't wait to see the fourth episode right now so i'm definitely gonna finish um the eight episodes because at first i wasn't sure if i was gonna jump into this orlando bloom i wouldn't say is my favorite actor um nothing personal against orlando bloom i just never really fall into the movies that he does he usually does movies that i'm really not invested in and uh cara de Lavigny, who's playing vignette she also does a great job on the show so far like she really had me thinking that she's a fairy and warning, there's so much fairy sex in this show, right? There's a lot of fairy sex going down. So if you're into fairy sex, this is your show, right? A little bit weird. Uh, Amazon definitely did not pull back when it came to the money. They threw money at this thing. They tried to develop this world as rich as possible. Like I said, the second episode, once things get going, um, you kind of see, well, this is where this is. This is where that is. You start to get understanding of the different dynamics that are at play here. There's a lot of racism. And I mean like real like racism as far as like the pixie don't get along with the humans the humans don't get along with basically everybody they don't like the minotaurs they don't like the wolves they don't like anybody basically right um but but once you get the second episode going and you get to the third episode the third episode is really good like i really enjoyed the third episode once everything was at play you really got to work and i really enjoyed the third episode i thought that basically it's because they had to put so much in at the beginning and now that things are rolling i'm really looking forward to the fourth episode and like i said it's only eight episodes in this season and it's already been renewed for season two so i'm definitely going to finish watching this season so if you're into fantasy or if you're just into a really good story and if, you, if you're not going to be scared away from the first episode I would tell you check out Carnival Row it's a pretty good show and I can only see it getting better from this point on are you watching Carnival Row put it in the comments let me know what you think so far and as always guys this is the Tone Show hit me with a like hit me with a subscribe Tone Show ow Woo.